The average AWS cloud engineer makes over $120,000 in the US. And if you want a similar job, you need to get these free AWS certifications. Hold on. I work as an AWS DevOps engineer for a large financial services company in London and have passed free AWS certifications. When I was starting out in cloud, I thought that a certification would easily get me a job. Truth is, I was wrong. Today, I'll be revealing whether a certification will help you get a job. What are the real benefits of getting certified that people don't talk about? The one certification that stands out as the most useful for the majority of people. And at the end, I'll talk about the particular type of person that a certification is extremely useful for. But first, can you really get one of these high paying jobs just by being AWS certified? Consider this, suppose you've got two friends, Alex and Bob. Both have spent the past six months learning AWS. Alex is all about doing the books and courses. He's got all of the associate level certifications, but hasn't done much practical work. His knowledge comes mostly from memorizing facts and theory. The only real experience he has with AWS is following along with some labs in a course. Then there's Bob. Bob's a bit different. He hasn't got any certifications, but he makes up for this with hands-on experience. Bob's the kind of guy who learns by doing. He's got a side project he built from scratch using AWS and has blogged about his journey. Now, both of these guys are looking to land their first AWS related job. Imagine you're the hiring manager. Who would you rather bring on your team? Would you go for Alex, who's proven he can pass tests and knows his stuff, at least in theory? Or would you choose Bob, who's shown he can take an idea and turn it into something real, even if he's not got the certifications to back it up? Now, I would bet that most hiring managers would rather hire Bob. And this illustrates a very important point. Certifications alone won't get you a job. Not convinced? Let's take a look at some first-hand experiences. When asked whether a cert alone is enough to get a job, this hiring manager says that, no, we regularly get a few thousand applicants each week per job posting. You need the portfolio, resume, knowledge, the cert, and the ability to interview better than thousands of others to get a job. This other user mentions that a certification itself will not get you a job. It might be a nice addition to a resume, but it's usually not a deciding factor if you already have some previous experience. What stands out here is that experience is more important than certifications. Certifications don't actually prove that you can do the tasks typically required on the job. Think about it this way. Would you hire a builder who's only ever read about building but hasn't actually built anything? But it's not just a lack of experience. Cloud-related jobs typically require knowledge of other different tools and technologies. For example, writing Python code or deploying applications using CI-CD tools. A certification that mainly focuses on AWS won't give you these skills. Not doing any practical projects also means that you don't have anything to reference during your interview and won't be able to give examples to back up your skills. But what kind of practical projects are we talking about? A good starting point is some of the free labs on this GitHub page created by Adrian Cantrell. But don't just passively follow along with every step. Instead, start asking yourself questions like, okay, this is cool, but what if I added this feature? Or what if I tweak this architecture to make it more efficient or scalable? Maybe you could integrate a third party API to pull in some data, or perhaps you can add some kind of dashboard to monitor load on a serverless application. This is how you stand out among other candidates. Employers start to see you not just as another candidate with a certification, but as a problem solver that can think on their own. But what's the point of doing certifications then? Aside from the actual knowledge you get, there's three main benefits. First, and most importantly, it gives you a discount on AWS Merch. I'm talking hoodies, water bottles, mugs, caps, and yes, baby bodysuits. But for real, when you're just starting out with learning AWS, it's like you're in a giant buffet and don't know where to start. The sheer volume of services, best practices, and use cases can be overwhelming. And I think this is where certifications really shine. It lays out a clear structured path for your learning journey. But that's not really the best bit. Knowing there's an exam at the end is a powerful motivator to keep a regular study habit. It gives you a clear goal to work towards, making the learning process more focused and purposeful. But what about if you already know a bit of AWS? Imagine you've been studying cloud for a while. You've deployed a few projects, played around with various services, and feel pretty comfortable navigating a console. But then, out of the blue, that nagging voice of imposter syndrome whispers, do you really know what you're doing? Here's where certifications come in as a confidence booster. Passing that exam isn't just about adding a line to your resume. It's a validation of your skills and knowledge. Even if you're already comfortable with AWS, getting certified can silence that inner critic and replace doubt with a bit of confidence. But now suppose you're already in a cloud job. Things are going really well and you're progressing. Will a certification really help? Well, I think this is actually where you'll get the most benefit to your career. This Redditor says, all the certs I've gotten have been after having a job. They've made me better at my job. And I think this is the most important thing. Certifications forces you to look at AWS from a bigger picture perspective. Instead of focusing only on the services that are relevant to your current projects, you learn about how different services interact with each other to solve problems. This big picture understanding lets you design more robust, scalable, and secure architectures 
making you a valuable employee. But that's not all. It's not uncommon for some companies to reward and incentivize their engineers to take certifications. This could mean a variety of different things. Maybe a promotion, perhaps a raise, or even just bigger projects coming your way. This Redditor says that by getting certified, they got promoted, they got a raise, and even got an increased bonus. Although it did not help me get the job, but boosted my credibility within the company. So, okay, certifications won't lead to a job, but they have their benefits. But there is a particular certification that I think stands out as the most useful. It's well respected in the industry and kind of like the Swiss army knife of AWS certifications. This certification is perfect for beginners who are just getting introduced to cloud computing. It starts you off with the basics, ensuring you're not lost in jargon. But it's not just for beginners. Even if you've been learning cloud for a bit, this certification deepens your understanding and fills in any gaps in your knowledge. What is it? The AWS Solutions Architect Associate. But don't just take my word for it. This Redditor says a cloud cert is only a piece of a larger picture and has diminishing returns going beyond the Solutions Architect Associate, suggesting that this is the certification that gives the highest return on your study time. But it's not just aspiring Solutions Architects that should take this cert. It's suitable for people interested in pursuing any AWS related technical career. In fact, it's actually a great foundation to pursue the more advanced specialist certifications if you wanted to. For example, say you're interested in becoming a machine learning engineer. The certification pathway made by AWS lists the Solutions Architect Associate as a foundation. Similarly, if you were interested in cloud data engineering or network engineering, the pathway also considers this certification as a crucial one to get. Now, another great part of this cert is its broad coverage. It gives you a taste of a wide range of AWS services from compute and storage to networking and security. This isn't about memorizing figures or getting into the nitty gritty of a single tool. Instead, it's about understanding how these services work together to build something bigger and better. But I think the best thing is that this certification puts a big emphasis on architecture best practices. This is the foundation of cloud engineering. It teaches you how to design systems that are not just functional, but also efficient, scalable, and secure. Don't underestimate this. These are great things to talk about in an interview and will really differentiate you from those who have just glanced over it. But what if I told you that there's a particular type of person that an AWS certification will be really, really useful for? Imagine a new graduate called Alex, fresh out of college with a degree in computer science. He's eager to dive into the world of cloud computing, but so is everyone else graduating. His resume looks very similar to those around him and it's really hard to stand out. For anyone at the early stages of their career, like Alex, it's a good feature on a resume. Having that AWS certification tells potential employers that you've gone the extra mile and that you have a solid foundation in cloud. But most of the time, that alone isn't enough. Now suppose Alex dreams of working at a consultancy firm, especially one that's an AWS partner. Getting certified isn't just a boost, it's almost a necessity. These firms thrive on the strength of their team skills, which they sell to clients looking for top tier cloud solutions. Being AWS certified in this environment often isn't a badge. It's almost like their engineers have this stamp of approval from AWS themselves. And I think this is where a certification can really accelerate your career. Someone at the beginning of their cloud computing journey and is interested in joining an AWS partnered consultancy firm. Don't just take my word for it. This Redditor says that your certs are most likely going to matter most if the company you're applying to is an AWS partner and that the only reason his company keeps him around is because he's the only thing keeping free of their competencies alive. Another Redditor says that consulting firms love us to certify. So certifications can be important if you want to apply to these kinds of companies. Now, I spent hundreds of hours studying for AWS certifications while also balancing my full-time job as an AWS DevOps engineer. I've tried lots of different methods and courses, some of which have worked better than others. And I've used that experience to create a simple system to study for AWS exams that you can learn more about in this video.